you need to understand how do we write the command line programs. So I'll give you a quick run through of this. All right, let's write a code to take command line input. The first line is hash include stdio.h. Other than this, you also need one more uh, library file that is the standard library stdlib.h. Now let's write the main function int main, and this is the space where exactly you want to give the command line. It will actually take two things one is the argc, the other one is character pointer arc v, and secondly, it's a pointer to the array. Now, argc is argument counter basically to understand how many arguments are there and argv is to hold the values. All right. Now, how exactly we're going to use these? So, for timing, let's say I give it a sprinter and if I try to display the argc, what happens? Let's see this. Let's say argc. All right, let's compile this gcc the program name is command line dot c minus so let's give the executable file as output all right now let's execute the output output you see that arc c we're getting it as one so what is one is basically whatever is being typed onto the command line that is your argument let's say i give output one two three you got the argument counter is four that means this is the first one second third fourth so four arguments has been passed let's try one more what if i say five we have two arguments that is one is this one the second one is this now how do we access this particular value or maybe this particular file name so that's where your arg v comes in play so let's say printf and argv. Now, because it's a character pointer, we're going to use percentile s and arg. Now, here uh, argv will have the data in the form of an array. So, you need to access that with the index. So, let's say I give it as 1. First, we need to compile it. Then, let's run this. All right. So, we got the arc c has two yes we have two arguments passed and we are getting the value as five and if you carefully observe it is actually the parameter one so it's an array array always starts with zero and then one so one is basically the second command line argument so if you want the first one probably you have to give it as zero now once i do it oh sorry i need to first compile then run so can you see that the zero is actually giving the file name so in most of the coding you basically need to take the value from one we have to leave the zero because zero holds the file name all right now most of the coding questions in the interviews generally they give you a command line input as integer but if you see we are trying to take it as a character right so, you need to convert it into an integer. So, what if I directly uh, give it as percentage %d and if you try to run, it will directly give you an error that it cannot be d because the it is saying that the format type is int and this is a string. So, what we are going to do is we need to typecast the character array to an integer so let's take int i equals so what if i use directly int of arg v of 1 and here let me type it as i first compile then run so are you able to see that you're getting the garbage value yes so we cannot typecast a pointer basically this is this doesn't work so what here what we're going to do is we'll use a library function array to integer so that's where we are using the standard library so once you do this this will work so compile and run we got the value i hope you're clear with this
so basically whenever you write this function main make sure you give this and then accordingly access the data mm -hmm.